everyone, my name is Fran and I'm a volunteer for First Steps Derbyshire. You might have seen my videos Positivity Part 1 and 2, which are talking about turning negative thoughts into positive ones and some techniques to spark some positivity into your day. Positivity Part 3, I'm going to be talking about goals. So one thing that really helped me was to write down one thing that I like about myself and one thing that I liked about today or one thing that went well today. And I did this for really quite a long time. And at first I thought, what is the point in this? And I thought, oh, well, this isn't really working. And I'd probably said that after about a week. And after a while, I did start to feel the benefits of it. And if I was having a really, really bad day and I couldn't think of anything, I look back at it and I recognise that on this day, I felt like this. Now, when I looked back at it, that gave me something to be positive and to write about that day. So, say for example, last week I went shopping with my friend or I rang my friend. Something simple. And I then write that on the day that I can't find anything positive about. I'd be like, oh, last week I had a really good conversation with my friend and I've just remembered that. So goal setting is something that might be really important to you during your recovery and you can set three goals. These can be a weekly goal or a daily goal, a monthly goal and a future goal. So the future meaning 10 years or less or more, it's entirely up to you. The daily goal can be something as simple as, I'm gonna tidy my room today. Or it could even be something like, I'm gonna sit down and watch Coronation Street. And by writing, these things and these little goals, it's sort of giving you something to achieve on that particular day. So your monthly goal might be something a little bit bigger. So it might be to go to a place that can be quite busy because you don't like busy places. Um, and you could have as much help as you need with this. So you can go with your friend or your mum or your carer or your partner or anybody. And these lists were things that I did in my everyday routine anyway. Like I wouldn't necessarily have needed a list to remember to do them. And these things again are little things like getting up, going downstairs, going to work, uh, having a break, uh, watching my favourite TV programme, going to bed, I'm going to read a chapter of my book before I go to bed. And by having these little things to tick off means that you've accomplished that and it's something to work towards and it's something to put your mind straight and to know where, you at, where you're at. Now, through across all of these videos, I have to stress on the fact that these things do take time and that you do have to sort of trial and error with them, like all techniques and tips to do with recovery. One thing that might work for me might not work for you or the same with anybody. But by giving these things time and allowing room for mistakes and to be kind to yourself and to focus on what is right and what is wrong. You'll have days like I did where 
you think, what is the point in this? Like, there's literally no point in me just writing this down. Like, what's it going to do, really? But once it does become part of your routine, then it does help and it does help you to become more positive and to look on the more positive side of things. I hope that these tips have helped you a little bit or inspired you to just try them out and you're doing amazing so keep it up and hopefully I'll do some more videos soon. Thank you, bye!